Welcome. This video will look at how S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management supports you in dealing with typical exceptions that can happen during put away. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Let us look at some of the benefits of exception handling during put away. Provides continuity when the original plan is no longer feasible. Enable warehouse workers to handle everyday obstacles in a controllable way. Provides a full overview of deviations for continuous learning and improvement. Before we show a few examples of exceptions, let us briefly explain exception codes. Exception codes and internal process codes are connected. We use the internal process code to determine how the system should react to the exception code during warehouse task confirmation. The availability of exception codes depends on the business context. We can limit access to exception codes to users based on profiles. Users can get a list of available exception codes, for the task at hand, by entering the phrase list, in the exception code field on their handheld device. We will now look at some commonly used exception codes during put away. We have one inbound delivery. It contains five handling units, each with 20 units of the same product. During put away, we will experience four different, yet common, exceptions in everyday warehouse operations. We'll begin by having a quick look at the inbound delivery, number 12981. Here we can see the five handling units we are about to put away. The first exception code we will look at is CHBD, change destination bin. This exception code allows the put away worker to change the proposed destination bin. This scenario can arise due to the proposed bin being occupied or is at the moment not accessible. When we scan the first HU, 80461, we realize that he proposed bin location cannot be reached. We enter CHBD in the exception code field. We press F1 to let the system propose another put away bin location. We can press F1 again to get another proposal if we are not happy with the first one. We confirm the new bin location and finish off the first HU and put away task. The second exception code is DABN, damaged bin. This exception code also allows the put away worker to change the proposed destination bin. This scenario can arise due to the proposed bin being damaged. The user then wants to block this bin for further put away. We scan the next HU, 80462. We detect that the proposed bin location is damaged and enter exception code DABN. We get a new bin location, confirm it, and finish the task. The third exception code we will look at is SPPB, split task and new destination bin for remainder. This exception code allows the put away worker to split a warehouse task and create a new one for the remaining quantity. This scenario can arise due to the capacity of the bin proposed. When the user reaches the proposed bin, the worker realizes that all the products cannot be placed there. When we get to the proposed bin, only 10 of the 20 units can fit there. We enter the exception code SPPB enter the quantity in the first bin, and put the remaining quantity in the proposed second bin location. During the put away of the fourth HU, we will use exception code DIFW, difference charge to warehouse. This code is used if the warehouse worker, during the put away process, by mistake breaks some pieces of the product. During put away we, unfortunately, break three pieces of the 20 units. This breakage needs to be recorded and adjusted during the put away. It also needs to be added to the difference account. We will look at the difference analyzer a bit later. Just one HU to go. This time no exception code is needed. We quickly find the put away location and confirm the put away. Only one out of five, without exception, is hopefully not a daily occurrence. Let's spend some time having a closer behind the scene look at three of the exceptions in the warehouse monitor. We can see that all tasks, with exceptions, are clearly marked. This helps for further analysis and reporting. We will now look at the DABN exception. The task with the damaged bin. We can see that the destination bin differs from the original destination bin, just as expected. If we look up the bin location, we can see that the system, also as expected, has blocked the bin for further put away tasks. For the SPPB case, we can see that the one original task was split in two. The first task kept the original bin location, and the new task, and the remaining quantity, was assigned to a second bin. For the DIFW put away, 
The unfortunate task where three units were damaged is also split into more tasks. We can see one line with the 17 units in good order and another line with the three damaged ones. We would expect only 17 units to be booked against the destination bin. We will verify that by opening up the bin location and see the quantity it currently holds. And yes, we will see 17 units, and not the original 20. With three pieces broken, we would expect to see a discrepancy also in the Analyze Differences app. This tool is used to reconcile inventory and warehouse management and make the subsequent material documents and journal entries for accounting. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let us recap some of the benefits of exception handling during put away. Provides continuity when the original plan is no longer feasible. Enable warehouse workers to handle everyday obstacles in a controllable way. Provides a full overview of deviations for continuous learning and improvement. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.